from this section we are going to see the most important topic that is cut previous session we have seen all the topics we have seen the cut part as well we have added the items we have deleted the items we have updated the items as well as we have displayed the items now we are going to see the most important topic that is what our project specifies we are going to see about cart so before moving to cart section first we are going to see the demo what we are going to build in this section before moving to cart section first let's see the demo what we are going to do from this session onwards here we have displayed all the products inside this view products all these products are available now when i click on this edit button we are having all this interface this we have seen now when i just click on this shop it you can see whatever products i am having here inside this view products both these products are available inside this shop it now if i just add one more product here i will add headphone product i will give 12000 choose file i will select headphone add product product inserted successfully i will come to view products inside this view products all these three products will be available as well as edit and delete action is available now when i come to shop it all these three products will be displayed for me now this cart is empty you can see cart value is zero when i click on this cart i will have cart is empty again i will come to shop it i will add this item product added to cart successfully now inside this cart one item is increased i will click on this cart you can see all the features related to this cart is available i am having the product name product price product image and also i am having date quantity total price and here i am having the grand total now i'll just update this one update to 2 now i'll just click on update you can see total price is 50000 product price is 25000 and grand total is 50000 that is displayed again i will come to shop it laptop i have already added again when i click on laptop i will get this message product already added to the cart again when i click on cart only one time laptop will be displayed i will come to shop it now i will add this earpods product added to cart successfully now item is increased to 2 i will click on this now here now grand total is 65000 for each product total price is displayed and here product price is displayed now if i update the quantity to 2 for this earpod update product price is 15000 total price is 30000 and we are going to sum both total price 50000 plus 30000 Our grand total will be eighty thousand. Now laptop, I will just increase one update. Now the total quantity is one lakh five thousand. I will decrease the earpods update. Now the total quantity, total price is fifteen thousand. Product price is fifteen thousand, and grand total is ninety thousand. Seventy five thousand plus fifteen thousand, I will get plus ninety thousand. Now, if I just want to remove this, I can click on this remove button. Remove item from the cart. Okay. As soon as I removed, you can see the cart item, the cart number is decreased to one. I am having only one product. But when I come to shop it, these are the items available inside the store. So from here, the product is not deleted. Only from cart, the product is deleted. as soon as i delete the product you can see the grand total is also updated now i'll just add this headphone product added successfully i will come to cart now if i just want to delete all the products whatever i am having inside the cart instead of deleting one by one 
directly i can click on this delete all are you sure you want to delete all the products okay you can see cart is empty cart value is updated to zero again in shop it all the products are available and in view products all the products are available where i can do edit and delete action and from here i can add the products i can edit products i can delete the products as well as i can add to the cart so now we are going to build this cart section step by step we are going to construct this entire thing we are going to see every functionality how to update the quantity how to get total price how to display grand total and also how to create the table so that data gets inserted inside the table and using that data we are going to display the data inside our browser and we are going to perform all the functionalities that's all for this session next session we are going to start with our coding part